Hi, it's Laura. I have a haul video for you. Very tiny one though. Um, today is Wednesday, July 10th, as I'm recording this. And my show for whatnot is tomorrow. On this past Friday, whatever day that was, July 5th, I went and did a massive buyout, which I've done a haul for you on already. And I have been very slowly getting all of this kind of clothing dealt with as far as sort of removing the smoky smell from it. So doing like a round of vinegar soaking and then I dry them, whatever. So I have some inventory from that that was processed that I was able to put in my whatnot show for tomorrow. Um, I am struggling with some of that inventory in a good way, I guess, because a lot of it I want to hold to the side and just put up on Etsy. But also I need to, I desperately need to get some sales. Um, my whatnot show last week was phenomenal. The sales on all the other platforms this week have been absolute trash. So the few that I have gotten have all been like, like, I'm not even joking. I got like a $15 shipped. And of course I live in New Jersey. Naturally it was going to Hawaii because why would it not be going to Hawaii? Um, you know, so stuff like that, 20, $30 shipped, like very small sales and they've been trickling in and it's painful. So I did go sourcing today just because a, I kind of needed the the boost, like emotionally, and I wanted to get just a handful of things. I have about 22 items listed for Whatnot's show tomorrow. So I just wanted to kind of get myself up to that 30 items without having to scrounge around and do a bunch of repairs or try to rush a, a wash process or anything like that. I did get some stuff, kind of cute. Only one thing I think is a little bit disappointing, but we'll get into that. So let me show you what I have. first. I have this little bag. It's cute. This is like um probably like a probably 90s Liz Claiborne. And it's sort of like a canvasy type of fabric, Liz wear. This was five, I believe it was five dollars. It was it was marked five dollars. Um, and I don't think accessories are on sale, or at least not this color tag. So five bucks for that. So I'll probably list it on whatnot. I might do it at 15. We'll see. Um Next, I have this dress, which is really cute. This is a little like 70s era polyester. Oh, that's a little blown out, but that's okay. It's probably the only thing that will be. Um, it's got a really sweet little sort of Asian inspired kind of scenic print on it. Just pulls over the head, has a tie at the back of the waist. This was $2.50, so thank you so much. We'll put that up on Whatnot for 15. This is the thing that's probably um, too much of a disappointment. I am most likely not even going to try to put it up on whatnot today. I, when I was at the store, I felt like this might be a smaller size, but I thought it might be like a, a size, a women's extra small or small. Now the zipper is janky too. Metal zipper in the back. It's a really cute little sort of prairie style dress and it's, it's a shorter length. I do feel like it's probably either a women's extra small or maybe a, um, like a tween size. I don't think it's a kid's because the proportions on me, like the sleeves are long enough and you know, the waist seems to fall where it should fall, but I couldn't even get this over. Like it just wasn't going to go on my body. So I feel like it's probably an extra small. I also need to like grease this zipper or something. And I say grease, I don't really mean grease. You know what I'm saying? Get the zipper moving a little bit because it's, it's sticking. This stupid dress was $8. So I'm not really thrilled with this purchase, but it's really cute. What are you gonna do, right? It happens. All right, next is this little Y2K top. Um, this was, yeah, this was $4. Again, a little bit much. There was not a great selection today. I knew that when I went, I did not wanna get a massive load of stuff because honestly, I can't afford to. I just wanted to get a small handful of good pieces to stick in my show and feel a little bit, you know, more filled out. Um, but they just didn't have a whole lot of good selection for me today. So I thought this was really cute though. The little Y2K stretchy mesh top. Um, like I said, $4, here's the tag. And again, it's got that like Asian sort of neckline going on. It's a cute top, I like it. Oh my God, I'm so hot right now, freaking. Uh, let's see. This dress, I actually ended up really liking. I got it thinking like, okay, it's fine. Like it'll do the job, but it looked really cute on. I already took photos of these like super quick or whatnot. 
So let's see. It's all everything's all like inside out because of my photo taking. So eight, little eighties dress, right? Yeah. Really cute. So it's got that like more fitted waist with those buttons. Um, it's just a really nice little silhouette when it's on. And I ended up paying $5 for this. So the tags on this are cut out. So I don't know anything about the brand. That's okay though. Five bucks. I'll list it for 15 and whatnot. All right. This is really adorable. This is Y2K Forever 21. Normally not, you know, something I necessarily look for. Um, I mean, that's not true. I do keep an eye out. I don't get a lot of it. And I think that's a mixed bag, partially because when I do find some of it, it just doesn't seem like a thing I want to get into. And partially because I am sure that there are times that I don't recognize that it's actually more Y2K and not more recent. This one, um, that's the tag for over 21. And, but it's got this like sleeveless side and then this dramatic sleeve over here. And then the bottom has this great like asymmetric hem. It's an amazing silhouette on. And I love it, not just because of all of the angles and everything that are happening on it, but because with this, it's like sort of, it's not one shouldered, it's one sleeve. So because it still has a shoulder here, you can wear a bra with it and it's kind of on the see-through side. So it's just fun. You put like a little black bra underneath it. It's really cute. Um, it looks great on. I am literally like, look at me. I'm, I'm, my face is wet because I'm sweating. It's probably I have this dumb skirt on that I put on for photos and just left it. All right. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret little teddy. So this is really cute. Obviously, it's like it's pretty. It's a pretty little rose print, which I like. And it's the gold label Victoria's Secret. So I picked it up because for me, like this was like sort of my era of Victoria's Secret. Like this is this gold label, these really romantic kind of pieces and everything. Like that's sort of what I consider to be the heyday of Victoria's Secret. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be super in demand. This isn't really very stretchy. It's kind of like a bit of a crepey fabric. So it's it's got a little give to it, but it doesn't necessarily have stretch. So I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I don't know if it's going to hit that that normal demographic that vintage lingerie that I put up on eBay hits, you know? We'll see how it goes though. I still thought it was really fun. I wanted to get it. All right. Um I have two more pieces and they're both really good. I like them. First are these new old stock knit pants. Um they have a nice wider leg, which is phenomenal. Uh, elastic waist in great shape, phenomenal. They're a little bit of a larger size. I would say they're a modern size large. They are new old stock. They're marked size 16, but they're not that big. Um, that's the tag. And these were $2.50. I tried these on for photos and they, A, are long enough on me, which I have a 34 inch inseam, so that's not very typical. And B, they were really comfortable. I considered not selling them. Um, but when I looked in the mirror, they're a little bit loose in like the abdomen and stuff. So aesthetically, they weren't my favorite in, in the abdomen, right? But um, so I'll sell them, that's good. I thought they were so cool though. And then last but not least is this um, 70s maxi skirt. It's like a nylon fabric. And I thought this was really pretty. So I love the print on this. It's so cute. Look how adorable that is. Um, this was not on sale either, I don't think. Six dollars. Oh my god. So this will have to go up on whatnot for like 15. But that's my little haul. Um, as you can see, I am dying. I've got my studio lights on to be able to like I also took photos for whatnot and then to do this. It's really bright and sunny out, but it's too much shadow um, for the video. So I've really been rethinking the idea of getting a ring light. Um, I looked into it once before and all I was finding was either like $10 ring lights, which you know are going to be garbage or like $200 ring lights. And I'm not doing that, but I took a quick look today and I found a bunch that were kind of like 25 bucks, but marked down from 50, maybe marked down. I don't know. 
um, you know, ranging up to like $70 for sort of like a decent size ring light on a tripod. And I'm, I'm thinking about giving it a shot. Um, we'll see. I think it'll help a lot with lighting for my, my YouTube videos and my whatnot shows because I always feel like I struggle with it and don't like it. So um, we'll see. But that's a little, that's a little ways off because it's just a, a, not a huge investment. It's a small one, but at the moment, I can't do that. So, um, but we'll see. I'll think about it. Anyway, that's everything for my haul today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm off to populate my whatnot show, get my rack loaded up in here and get everything hung up. And hopefully when I film my video for you tomorrow, I will have sold 842 things and be rich. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.